Paul, welcome to Bourbon MBS. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you, Alex, for having me. Paul, um, real quick, first of all, I want to cheers you for a couple things. You have, a, I love your last name. Um, it, my name is unpronounceable, but your name is the most fun that I've had to say. Uh, pronounce it for me so then I can pronounce it right after you. Uh, so it's the, uh, the English version is gelati. The English version is gelati. So the yeah. other G is silent. Yeah, the second G in Italian is silent, yeah. Wow, gelati. Yeah. So now it got even better. <laughs> Your name just got better for me. <laughs> yeah, right on. So awesome. Well, cheers to that. So cheers listen, to I want to say this is really exciting. This is, this is really going to be a fun conversation. I can't wait for this because you are co-hosting co the California MBA Innovators Conference that's coming up. Yes, yes. With Chuck. And it's, it's sounding like it's going to be a huge success because I heard you guys are getting a ton of registrations, ton of people are. already, already coming. So yep. it's exciting. So I want to, I want to congratulate you on that. And I hear that yep. you're on the board. Yes. I'm a board member of this amazing organization. You know, it's really, it's great to be part of an organization that's really there for the industry. And it's about kind of not to sound geeky, um, but it's about serving the industry. Yeah. You know, we bring all the information to the forefront. A lot of the information is, you know, we bring information from legislation, let people know what's going on. It's really important for you to stay active in your industry. We're passionate about what we do, right? Yeah. And so when you, when you provide an opportunity to let those passions come up and um, be front and center, there's only good that can be done. I, um, I, the, I agree. I agree. California MBA is so amazing. It's such a great organization. These conferences provide such an array of um, ideas and concepts and networking. And it's, you know, the Mortgage Innovators Com Conference is all about practical innovation, which is so important, right, Alex? Absolutely. Oh, of course. Yeah, you've got what to, know I to know? use it. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited. It's going to be a really fun conference. It's 100% virtual. This, um, they're doing it from the software solution that it provides, you know, it's, it, you feel like you're there. There's a hotel lobby. Really? You know, there's certain rooms to hang out, chit chat, lounges. Um, you can do all the networking you want. It's going to be awesome. That's cool. Well, listen, I'm excited for that. Um, and I'm even more excited at this very moment to start asking you questions. Dive in, my friend. You I'm ready? going to surprise you. First, first question is always the same. What are you drinking? I am drinking. I got this uh, delivered to my house just especially for this occasion. Ooh. This is a white sangria. Oh, I love it. Oh, you yeah. might, you met my wife earlier for a few minutes. Had you said that she'd be like, Oh, I want some. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a favorite around here. And uh, I am back to drinking my angels and meat. So everyone likes to know what I have in my drink every time. I promise everyone I'm getting an entire collection. We, we're talking about how to make it happen. And I will have an entire collection of different bourbons that we will talk about. But this is angels envy. And it's fantastic. Nice. Let's dive into some simple questions. What TV show have you binge watched? lately oh boy so i'll take um <laughs> i'm gonna talk about adult tv show as opposed to like transformers for my five-year-old son or you know my little pony for a two-year-old daughter yes um, we just finished watching binge watching succession mm. which is i believe it's on netflix it's one of those you know you kind of dive in and it hooks you in it's got three seasons and we're almost done and we started like five nights ago He's like, we start, uh, yeah, we started two days ago. Yeah, wow, five. Yeah, exactly. That is truly binge five watching. Five of ice cream. <laughs> that, it's, it's perfect. Now, let me ask you, this is a perfect time to go into this next question. Are yeah. you a night owl or early bird? So I, um, I'm an early bird. I get the early shift in our house. So I get up super early before the two kids, my husband and three dogs are even moving. Uh, okay. I get everybody breakfast, everything's ready. I jump in the shower so that when everybody starts to wake up, I'm around, I'm ready to roll, and I can hang out with the family before I take off to work. So when do you, okay, so, so if you're the early bird in the family and he's the late bird in the family or late owl, night owl, how do you binge watch stuff and make time for it? I really don't need to sleep too much. Oh. Yeah, so, you could so be I get up at like five and I go to bed at like 11.30. Oh, you're good. Yeah, that keeps me going, you know? Hey, you maximize your day. <laughs> he's yeah, like, you, he's like, you got it, right? 19 hours, I am alive and awake to see that, that, that day go through. So that's fantastic. So you have kids. I um, do, yes. 
do your kids, first of all, do your kids, and I don't want to hear the answer for you, do your kids prefer sour gummy candy or regular gummy candy? Um, they they prefer regular gummy candy. I know this for a fact. Okay. Um, and they are big on the gummy worms. We've got songs about gummy worms. Ooh. Um, and then the what are the fish gummies that the um the red ones? The Swedish the fish. Swedish fish. My five year old son loves those. Uh, gummy bears. The sour ones. Eh, not so good. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Where do you Me, fall? I'm, on? Yeah, I'm the sour guy. Sour Same. guy. Yeah. yeah. So like, so I, I don't, maybe, maybe it's a growing up thing. Like, can you get to a certain point? You're like, I want, I want something more than just a chewy sweet candy. I want, I want my face to twitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So we're sticking on food for a minute. Let's stick in the food arena for a minute. Okay. Um, you're at a restaurant and you have an option for a soup or a salad. What side do you go with? You know, I'm going to be difficult about this question. I've got to ask some details. All right, let's go. I love this. What's the, what's the season? Summer. Summer? I'm going to immediately go to a salad because it doesn't matter if I'm on a date because it's my husband, right? Um, if, if it mattered when I was, like, single, I probably wouldn't get a salad for fear of, like, lettuce in the tooth. <laughs> oh, <gasps> Hey, single people take note that's take a good note, no lettuce no pasta no lettuce okay so let me ask you a question i guess the answer is going to be obvious but i gotta know all right it's in the you're you're in california okay yeah which is where you are uh-huh. and it's winter yeah are you going to do a soup instead of a salad i'm going to jump on the soup really yep, yep. And, and what's the temperature in the winter where you are um you know it doesn't get too cold really i mean yeah you know, you might get to like 40, oh, put the big coat on and a scarf, you know? Yeah. Uh, but that's about it. Now, let me ask you another question. You yeah. ate this, let's say now you're, you're married, you're sitting there, you're having dinner with your husband and you do eat that salad and you get a little green thing in your tooth. Does your husband say something or does he let you walk around with it? He says something. Mm. So we're, you know, we're not, you know, it, 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 and he'll make fun of me kind of, not in a mean way, but you know. And my, my son would jump in, you know, if yeah. he was there, you know, we're, we're very much a joking family, high energy, you know, I mean, we're not barbarians, but we're not like prim and proper, really, right? Yes. So. Yeah. Well, so this next question, I think I know the answer to it, but I'd like to ask it, especially people that live in your area. If you had a choice for vacationing, would you oh. go to the beach or the mountains? You know, we are, we started this thing where we would go to the Disneyland Resort once a year in mm -hmm. Hawaii. Ooh. Um, and we weren't able to go this year. And so I, we've been doing, we've been going camping. I just took my son fishing last weekend for the first time. Nice. Um, we've been doing a lot of the mountain stuff because where we are, we're shelter in place. It's easy to get to Nevada, Tahoe more stuff is open up there. So we've been spending a lot of time there. So right now my response would be Tropic Beach. Tropic Beach, I like Tropic it. Tropic Beach, maybe even throw in like a couple of massages, like that real relaxing. Completely you know, feed, feed up, nothing. Deliver just, this, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cheers to that. Okay, so let me ask you this. So, so you said a few things, I'm gonna dig in. What kind of fish did you guys catch when you went fishing? Uh, trout. Trout. Trout, yep, and it was his first time and he caught three fish immediately. What, catch and release or did you bring him home? We brought him home, he, he, it was his thing, he wanted to bring him home. He was very specific though, however, um, when he caught them, he said, we're gonna bring them home. And mind you, he wouldn't touch them, so I unhooked them, threw them in the box. And <laughs> he looked at me and said, Papa, you know, I don't like fish. So when we get home, Dada's gonna cook them because you don't cook. And you, Dada, and Kennedy are going to eat them, and I'm going to watch you because I don't like fish. That was a statement. It. Yeah. So, but but you guys actually cleaned them and cooked them, and 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 it went exactly like that, or no? We're going to back up a little bit on that, Alex, and we got to keep <laughs> this between you and I, or at least not <laughs> yes, let my kids yes. see this on Just social media. Just in this small group that's going to yeah. see this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, we did not cook them. <laughs> <laughs> we put them in the back of the freezer and Aaron's like, I'm not, my husband was like, I'm not cooking these. And I was like, just go to Safeway, buy some white fish. He'll never know the difference. So that's what he did. So we kind of, a little trickery, but 
No, 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 no. This is father of the year stuff. Uh, that's all. Listen to me. F this, the name of this entire, this entire video that we're doing, this, this session is going to be called father of the year. Are you kidding me? That's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. You're not, yeah, I, you're like, I'm not cooking it. I'm not cleaning it. I'm not gutting it. I'm not filleting no. it. Not no. happening. You no. go get some fish. And what did your son, he had no clue, right? No, he was so excited. Like he sat there the whole time like this while we were eating. Is that good? Do you like it? Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Best story ever. I love that. Now, let me take you back to Hawaii for a minute because it sounds like you guys have been going there a lot. Yes. So, so how, how did you choose Hawaii Disney? Aren't, you're close to Disney in California. Or not close, but you can get there. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's, they, they have a lot of stuff to keep kids active. And some of the stuff gives you the ability to um, have some parent time, adult time, right? So okay. it's, it's one of those places where you kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, we opt to not go to Disneyland in Southern California, really. We've gone a couple of times with them, and it's really an expensive shit show. Kind yep. of for, you know, for us, right? Sure. But yes. at least when you take them to Disneyland in Hawaii, they see the characters, they're all happy. There's, there's activities for them to do. And then there's time that we can spend together as a family away from the Disney madness. And then there's time that Aaron and I can, you know, go grab a couple of drinks at the bar, you know, go to the, go to the spa, which is amazing there. So it, it's, I, to us, yeah. it's the best of both worlds. And, and let me ask you one more thing about Hawaii. Is it true yeah. that the Hawaiian sun gives you the best tans? It is. It, it does, is and it is. It's a scientific um, fact. It's, it's confirmed absolute, right there. It's confirmed <laughs> right here. Yeah, 100%. Let's stick, let's stick to food for a minute. This is one of my favorite questions. I think, it's, I think it's one of the most debatable things in the world. Pineapples on pizza, yes or no? Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. I think we're now leaning towards the yes more than no's. We were on, on, on the, uh, I think, even, but I think this took us over. Now, yeah, you're a Hawaiian goer. Yeah. Did you get Hawaiian pizza in Hawaii? No. Interesting. Yeah. What do they call it in Hawaii? Just pizza? I don't know. Maybe, potentially. I don't know if I actually have had pizza in Hawaii. What is your go-to meals in Hawaii? You know, it's, I think our go-to meals, I want to say when we're not like running around shoving chicken tenders in the kids' throats to get them to eat. <laughs> and then, of course, like you're kind of hungry, so you eat that. But I think we lean, I lean more towards like the fish. You know, you can get great tuna there. Yes. You know, ahi, all that. And, and plus, when we're in Hawaii, I think um, you're by the pool, shirt's off, you know, so you don't want to walk around with like pizza gut, which is the thing. It's a, I, I hear it is a thing, and pizza gut looks different than other guts. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Alex. I hear it's a thing. <laughs> I hear it's a thing. <laughs> that was good. Um, oh, my goodness. So, so yeah. let's, let's stay with the food concept, because I think we're having fun here. Hot dogs. Could that be considered a sandwich? A hot dog? Is it a sandwich? I, I think it could be considered a sandwich. We, I, I, I don't know if... I want to say my son's had a hot dog once in his life. Mm. We're not a hot dog family. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so this is a tough question for you. All right. I understand. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like it could be a sandwich because you usually put it together. You know, there's like buns. You know, buns this and, and a sandwich is this way, but it's yeah. this way. And so I think it is a vertical sandwich. A vertical sandwich. Nobody, nobody agrees with me, by the way. They all say it's not a sandwich. But I I'm here first. I get my, it. That's vertical it. Sandwich. Paul, yep. Brother, we got two I got people. You. We're starting, a, we're starting a whole food chain, everybody. Listen out, listen up now. We're going to call it the vertical. Get vertical. Get vertical. Not vertigo, but vertical. Vertical. Get vertical. <laughs> I, I, like, I, like us, I like us talking about food. One more, one more question. This is an interesting okay. one. Yeah. Have you ever tried fried pickles? No. Okay. I yeah. recommend it. Okay. I recommend it. Try it out. Just, just okay. go, get, go crazy. Try it out one time. Go crazy. Really cool. I, will, I will make sure the next time I see that on the menu, I will eat one and think of you. Okay, please do. I'll let you know what my response to that fried pickle is too. Yes, tell me. And then, and then I found out that, so everyone that has had fried pickles then goes on to try other f interesting fried foods. And just on another Bourbon MBS episode, um, somebody mentioned, I don't even know how this happens, a fried Oreo. Huh. What 
in, I don't even understand who's responsible for such a thing. Um, yeah, it, it deserves a sip of the drink. I agree. It does. I was going to ask you, what's the most interesting fried food you've tasted or heard of? And I would assume it'd be an Oreo, right? That's it. I've never heard of anything crazy. more crazy. I don't even know how that works. So, so yeah. yes. Yeah. How about, how about this? Um, let's go to pets. Cats or dogs for you? Uh, I've got three dogs. Three dogs. Tell me. What, well, tell me who they are, what their names are. I will. I will start with the oldest and go down in order. Okay. My dog, uh, Joey, I call him Joey G. Joey He's G. a lab collie. Joey G is 17 years old. <gasps> wow. Yes, I've had him the whole time. He is an amazing soul. So beautiful wow. and pure. And he's uh, survived cancer, two different types of cancer, um, and just an amazing dog. Yeah. Um, and then we've got a black German shepherd who's absolutely amazing with our children. His name is Rocco. He's seven. Mm. And then we've got a dog that we inherited. Uh, she's a six-year-old Sharpay, and she's that shit crazy. <laughs> Sharpays can be mean. Yeah, she can be mean. Nuts. She's nuts. How did you inherit this one? A very dear friend of ours passed away, and we took care of him in his, you know, the later part of his life. Yeah. And I, we're taking her. Don't worry. And so she, she's with us. That's so sweet of you guys. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So now you got three. How are the other two with, with, with the new one? They knew and we were, we've been neighbors forever and roommates and I've known this man for a, quite a long time. So they all knew each other. Okay. So they, so they're all familiar with this. Perfect. Yeah. They were a like, little like, eh, not thrilled about this, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Under the current circumstances, what other options do we have? <laughs> yeah. We'll just take it. We'll roll with it. You know? So probably like how they were when I brought my kid home for the first time. Right. They're exactly. Like, really? Right. You're doing this. What? But, you know? They're like, who is this? And why does he walk up right? Yeah. <laughs> so parties, let's talk about parties for a minute. Do you like to attend them or throw them? Oh, that is a good question. I want to touche you with what do you think? Okay. Um, I think you'd be a great party guest. I think you like to attend parties. I do, but I also am an insane type a so i really like to give up so you you so you like to control the environment yes okay set it up for success yeah you know do, do like you know just do you yeah, go all I, out I, are you yeah. one of the ones that goes all out like decoration special drinks yeah get out tell me the last one you threw tell me tell me about it um, I know it's been a while because we're in covid and everything seems 20 years ago but crazy right um yeah. I do a really good uh, annual Christmas party, mm. um, which is a charity drive for the organization that we adopted our children through. Awesome. And uh, what we do is, is we adopt multiple families and everybody that comes to the party brings different gifts for the families. And that. we have Santa Claus show up and read books and make cookies with us for the kids that attend the party. Um, and those parties are both super fun for the kids and the parents get like bullshit drunk and we have a really good time and they go to like two in the morning. So those are my annual good parties. And I kind of, I kind of turn it up for my kids. Mm. You know, I'm really, I'm, I'm uh, they're, they're my everything. So whatever I can give them, I give them. And well, you they, give they, them Santa Claus. You, you, it sounds Santa like you Claus. have a direct connection to Santa. Yeah. The North pole. Like we have a direct line. You just, you, know? you just call them right up. My man. Come on. Come on. I know Party's it's summer 15th, here, but get, go. Yeah. <laughs> and for the kids' birthdays, it sounds like you go all out. Yeah, it's fun. You know? Yeah, that's a, and of course, I, I should have known that you take them to Disney in Hawaii. Not not that that is going out for your kids. I love that. I love that. Yeah. So yeah. so that's good. I, I I like that. So you like to throw parties and 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 you like to attend them, but you like to throw them. So yeah. let's 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 go into a little bit more of an active stage question. Um, mm -mm. Skiing or snowboarding, if you had a choice. So I started out as a skier. Mm -hmm. I swapped to snowboarding and I've gone back to skiing. Really? And it's... the reason why I did that is because I really wanted my son to learn how to ski and my husband skis. Mm. So it just kind of fit more, you know, and we don't, yeah. I don't do it that much. I'm not hugely active with it, but. Yeah. And so, and, and when you go skiing, you are lucky. I got to say, Wes, first of all, anyone that lives on, I live on the East coast. I'm in Maryland. Okay. So for us, the best mountain is Vermont, somewhere in Vermont. Oh, okay. But you have lots of options. 
Yeah. What is the go-to? Like, hey, you know what? Kids, family, we're going skiing tomorrow. Where are you going? Where are you picking up and going? I, our go-to, if, if it's not an invite or we're not going to someone's cabin, is North Star in Tahoe. Beautiful, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice, um, very kid-friendly, great lodges, um, you know, easy to get in and out of, uh, mm -hmm. especially if you can get like a little condo there. Um, it's not, sometimes driving up there can be kind of a little treacherous depending on weather. Um, so that's kind of our go-to. So here's what we're gonna do, Paul. We're gonna do a, a quick hit, fast answer. It's gonna be this oh, or wow. that question. We're gonna go After fast this? through it. Yes, here we go. I know it's gonna be All hard, right, but, it's, but you already answered some of them, but I'm gonna give you some new ones. Ready? I'm gonna start you off with an easy one. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Okay. Grilled chicken, fried chicken? Oh, grilled chicken. Silver or gold? Gold. Dirt bikes or four wheelers? Dirt bike. Mm. Tupac or Biggie? Tupac. Oh, West Coast. Sticking with your West Coast crew. That's right. Um, Apple or Android? Apple. All right. And then finally, a, a very special question. We're going to go back in time here. We're going to go back in time. Or maybe you still eat cereal. What is or was your favorite cereal? Um, I'm going to answer both those you asked two questions right? all right i like it look at you all right was honeycombs as an adult I forgot about that cereal completely honeycomb cereal is the best thing in the entire world right was, yes oh my the, the milk the milk after the cereal is gone right that's oh perfect. you're my man that's perfect that's the best perfect. yes that and, and reese's peanut butter cup pe yes. The, ce yes the milk from that Hands down. Okay. All right. We're, that, that's it. We're, that's perfect. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. That's, that's young. Okay. Yeah. And this is horrible because you're like, oh, so you're an old married guy with kids. Grape nuts with blueberries. Now that's something you and my wife would get along with. That's like her perfect cereal. That right yeah. there, you just, yeah. you just nailed it. Yeah. Really yeah. no sugar, you know, healthy, but you got that crunch, but you can make it soggy like you did when you were a kid. You know, that was yes. the thing, right? You know? Now, do you ever do Brinner with your kids? which is breakfast for dinner? Yes, we do that about once a week. Really? Love it. Yeah, love it. And what's the go-to? Is it cereal or is it pancakes or is it waffles? Oh no, like eggs, bacon, hash browns, toast, you know, like the thing. Yeah. Once a week. And is that is that yeah. something that you love? That's why, or is that something the kids recommended or asked for? I, um, so dinner, breakfast is, uh, I do breakfast and my husband does dinner and uh, he works about two nights, two days a week. So I think it's his, uh, like, super easy. Slide in the kitchen, make it, you yep. know, and everybody's happy with it. So Got it. It's, so you, it's, you do breakfast, he does dinner? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so, and, and he does dinner every night or those two nights that he's, is it an every he night? He does thing? dinner every night. He's an oh. amazing human. Yeah, he feeds us very well. Okay, and then you do breakfast every day? I do. And so when you say you do breakfast, does that mean you're making breakfast for, for everyone in the house? Or is it like, I'll get you the milk for the cereal? Or are you cooking breakfast? Um, you know, usually what I do is I start them off with a little fruit plate, their favorite fruit, like berries and apples. And then Five after they service. sit down, yeah, they, they get warm to that. Then it's like, you know, do you want a bagel, protein bar, egg? You know, what, what are you feeling like today? I'll cook it for you. I sit down with them because I'm ready, right? Sit down and yeah. have breakfast with them. Um, so it depends on what they're, what they're into, you know? But I will say I, I, I bail out of that on the weekends. I, I sleep in a little bit on the weekends. Hey, and we all deserve that. Yeah. We all yeah. deserve that. Yeah. So look, we've come to our final question, and it's always a good question to ask because we really get to find out what you're doing. What does the rest of your day look like? Um, the rest of my day looks like a meeting with uh, a branch that we have here in Benicia. It's right across the street from my house. Excellent. And then I'm taking uh, my dog to the chiropractor. And then um, hold on, stop. We are don't, having no, 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 no. Don't go any further for a second. Time out. Time out. Stop. I'm, my mind is blown right now. Did you just say you're taking your dog to a chiropractor? Yes, he goes. He goes to a chiropractor and a uh, acupuncturist every other week. I swap them. It's there's a dog chiropractor that's a thing yeah it's amazing man i swear he feels like it's a it's so to watch him after the treatment is so amazing really he walks better he feels like 
200%. Man, that's so cool. I, ne- I had no clue. Now, this isn't a regular vet. You're not taking him to a vet. You're taking him to a chiropractor. It's actually a, a chiropractor for, they're in a vet. It's a chiropractor for animals. It's Got it. But, 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 but that's what I'm saying. They, but you're taking him to a vet, but there's a chiropractor in there. Yes. It's not the vet yes. itself. Right, right, that's right. awesome. Okay, sorry. I just, it just blew my oh, mind. Cool. I have to stop there. Okay, so then that, and then? And then uh, every Friday night we do movie night. Cool. What's on the agenda? What's the movie? I don't know. It's up to them. They each get to pick one, you know? Um, nice. Sometimes we get in that rut where we're seeing, like, Cars 1, Cars 2, Cars 3, Cars 1, Cars I understand. 2, Cars it's just whatever they're feeling, you know. We're doing it today thing. too, by the way. It's we call oh, it really? Family Fun Friday. That's what we call it. Family Fun yep. Friday. And, yep. and yep. movies on the agenda. And they just watched um uh, the Sherman and Peab- Peabody and Shirt. What what's that? Yep. You know what I'm talking about. That one. Yep, yep, yep. So they were supposed to hold that off until this evening. They couldn't wait. They've seen it before, but that's what they wanted to watch. And they said, we're going to watch it now. So we don't know what we're watching tonight. Um, yeah, you just kind of roll with it, right? What kind of popcorn do you have at movie night? Um, it's Kirkland's. It's right from uh, Costco, whatever. Okay. You know, I, I, I used to buy very expensive, nice popcorn. But you know what? The kids don't care. I thought they did. I love, I'm a pop, I love popcorn. Yeah, so, yeah. so if I had a choice, it would always be the most expensive popcorn that tastes the best. But the kids, yeah. they actually don't like some of the more like, uh, movie theater like specific popcorn that that richness 100%. they kind of yeah. like it a little more, more bland so guess what we're buying kirkland from costco and that's it there you go you what are you guys getting what do you um tonight is cheese popcorn oh you know, like they have goodness. like it's like cheese flavor yeah oh i like it i like it well listen yeah. paul i gotta say this was one of the most enjoyable interviews this was amazing i i, I hope everyone gets to enjoy listening and watching and uh we're going to see you at the, at the, at the California NBA event. I'll we're see speaking. you Monday, right? Yeah. Is that, yeah, it's Monday. Oh my Monday, goodness. You're going to be Monday. there. I'll see you Monday. That's exactly All right. right. Well, Paul, thanks for your time, Alex. It was a pleasure. Pleasure. Enjoy Thank your you. evening. Enjoy the movie. Tell everyone to say hello with the family. All right. Same to you. Thanks. Yeah. Bye-bye.